The Borg Species 8472 War was a conflict that lasted five to six months between late 2373 and early 2374. It was sparked due to Borg incursions into fluidic space, the home of Species 8472. As the Borg continued to expand, the Collective became aware of a species in another dimension whose biology they considered the pinnacle of evolution. Which is interesting, as evolving never has, like, the pinnacle of anything. Borg forces created singularities into subspace, allowing their ships to enter into fluidic space. The Borg quickly invaded and attacked Species 8472 on several fronts, attempting to use brute force to destroy their defenses, then assimilate the society. Unfortunately for the Borg, Species 8472's biology and even their own technology was far more advanced than what the Borg had available. Species 8472's defenses easily repelled the Borg invasion, destroying the Borg cubes outright. Unlike all other species they've encountered, the Borg would not be able to assimilate 8472, nor could they hack or assimilate the biotechnology that 8472 fielded. In an interesting turn of events, it would appear the Borg do not independently adapt based on observation, but by direct interaction. Unfortunately, Species 8472's biology and their technology did not allow the Borg a way of understanding how to defeat them. With the Borg incursion forces defeated, Species 8472 determined that weak creatures, such as the Borg, and indeed those in the other dimension completely, could pose a risk to the biological purity of Species 8472. In order to protect their space and the purity of their biology, hundreds of 8472 ships would pour out of fissures across Borg space and begin an immediate invasion of the Borg Collective, and ultimately the galaxy. The Borg would be unable to defend themselves against the Onslaught, as none of their technology would be able to adequately adapt against Species 8472's weapons. Species 8472 was so advanced that a single ship could defeat up to 15 Borg cubes without a concern of threat to the ship itself. We can't be sure of the complete death count, but we do know that at least 6.8 million drones would be destroyed along with 8 planets, and it's likely this was a fraction of the damage done to the Collective. The Collective determined that there was no possible way of winning the war. It would be due to this desperation that the Collective would create a temporary alliance with the USS Voyager, a Starfleet vessel. Originally wanting to assimilate Voyager to gain its information, Captain Janeway threatened to have all the data deleted should they make any such attempt. The Borg and Voyager would have to work autonomously of each other and combine their knowledge and resources. Species 8472 would utilize their psychic abilities to determine that there was an alliance between these two and that they were both planning on creating a bioweapon. A Species 8472 ship would appear from fluidic space and begin attacking both Voyager and the Borg cubes to stop this alliance and stop the bioweapon itself. The Borg would sacrifice themselves by ramming their own ship into the enemy ship and beaming aboard a small party onto Voyager to finish the biogenic weapon. Unfortunately, the war was progressing very badly and the Borg were continuing to lose ground on all fronts. In order to force Voyager to move faster, Seven of Nine, the, uh, well, I, I guess she's an emissary or an ambassador or intermediary or individual that speaks for the Borg, because at this time that's what they did. They weren't a complete collective like we saw earlier in the episode. Anyway, Seven of Nine would sabotage Voyager and cause it to enter into fluidic space. The crew of the Voyager would be able to retrofit nanoprobe technology and upgrade it in order to overcome Species 8472's physiology and ultimately kill them. They would retrofit photon torpedoes and be able to defeat several incoming Species 8472 ships. Seven of Nine would then assist Voyager in leaving fluidic space and Voyager would be able to destroy an additional 13 more ships. Seven of Nine herself would ensure the Collective received the data and ability to modify their own warheads, and Species 8472 would retreat on all fronts back into fluidic space. The Borg Species 8472 war would end with what could arguably be a Pyrrhic victory for the Borg, if you compare losses on both sides. It would also ensure the best hope for several species in the Delta Quadrant would be defeated, and the Borg would be able to continue their assimilation, but that's a lore for another time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Yay for a new year. I'll be doing some gameplays where you guys can come hang out and we'll be talking about whatever, lore or not. I'll be playing Star Trek Online on Twitch, so watch out for that. Additionally, I'll be using Mixer for any other games. Wanna watch me fail at PUBG? Kill some Cylons on Deadlock? Then check out the links below so that you're a part of my Mixer as well as my Twitch. Join the Discord to come hang out, and guys, I'm gonna see you on the next Lore Reloaded.